So there's 10 or 12 individuals, Ms. Deputy, now this is the hot pan. At the end of the first year, they receive a $10 million profit. And they receive profit every year. And Mrs. Deputy, then the contract, you know what they would receive? A little less than half a billion dollars. <clears throat> Who are those 10 individuals? Or is it 12? Or is it five? Who are they? That's all you want. But, and you say you love the poor? Wow. You don't love the poor. You're giving a gift wow. to the wealthy. Wow. When we did the port, the port did certain things. There were many who could not afford to buy shares. A part of the agreement was that they would make $10 million available mm -hmm. so that those individuals who could not afford shares could borrow the money and buy their shares interest-free yeah. loan, yeah. Yeah. and their dividends that they make could repay their loan. Yeah. That's, that shows that you love the poor. Yeah. You're helping those who don't even have the money. You're giving them an opportunity. That's what we did. We did not pick out eight or 10 individuals to give them almost half a billion dollars. Half a billion dollars. Mr. Deputy, Jesus Christ, I just get not. You give me another five minutes. <laughs> oh, I take it. Yeah, see, they tell you this, so I know for certain you're not part of it. They tell you this. The port, we also made available to ensure that the Small Business Development Center, a center set up by us to give grants and loan to the poor man, to start their business, to be entrepreneurs. We were going to make amendments to the Small Business Act so that they could get loan because individual businesses are now in their homes. Technology has changed so that your houses now become your business places, mm -hmm. which meant that they could have gotten loan with the amendment to even purchase land or their home. Grants from the Small Business Development and that was the plan moving forward. But the port provide extra money for small business development. They provided money for BAIC. They provided money. I just like the facts, you know. I like the facts. They like provided money for green management, for green management. But they did not choose eight, 10, or 12 sure you can tell me who they are. I want to know who they are. The public want to know who they are, who you giving almost half a billion dollars at the end of the contract, and at, from the first year, they're receiving $10.25 million in profit, year one. Mr. Deputy, I have a lot more to say, but I'm getting tired. So may God bless our Bahamas. <laughs>